we ask you what do you want to achieve yes and then what we are you willing to do to for. get there yes that's how success is found it's not it's not about you shouldn't be spending money on if you want to eat kfc every day centauri mm -hmm. will actually help you do that yeah. Hey, it's Caroline Mutoko. Welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe. This is an important conversation. It's called Men and Money. And the men to discuss money are here. And I'm going to start. Um, I literally want to know why each of them went to Centonomy 101. I did mine in 2012. Yep. I thought you were telling me, so we... The same year I was there. Really? Yes. No, what was your reason? So this is the thing. I, 2012, I also got married. Oh. So, so I went home. And I looked, and now it was not just me in the house. Mm -hmm. There's a lady there, and I was like, by the way, see, God has just given you responsibility for some uh, another human being. Yes. And the likelihood, because we have discussed this, there will be others who join this team. And they have. We have now three daughters in our home. Oh, wow. So I was just like, at that point, the weight came on me, and I said, I'd better get my act ready now. Now. If I haven't done it before, because I'd been working with Centonomy for a couple of years yeah, before that. Yeah, you told that. me you filmed me when I did, I did the opening. Yes, yes. So we were, at that time I was a service provider. I was like these guys behind us <laughs> recording recording the events and yes. everything. And and so when I was listening to these stories, I was like, this matters. But guess what? I sat in conferences. I even sat through filming classes. But I felt that I had never sat down for myself mm -hmm. to do it. And I had to sit down and say, guess what? It's good that I'm helping everybody else, but guess what, Waidaka, you need to succeed as well. You need to create wealth. You'd better do this for yourself. That's why I sat in the class. Wow. Yes. Peter, what took you to Centonomy? My story is interesting. Um, we had gotten together with two other couples uh, during uh, my wedding, and uh, we felt, you know what, we can't waste this talent. If we made that wedding work, we can do more. We can create wealth. Oh, so you weren't in debt after the wedding? <laughs> we were not in debt. Well <laughs> done. <laughs> no, so because he's saying very proud yes, of your yes, efforts. Yes, right. Well done. So like any other Kenyan, we started Dachama, mm -hmm. which died two years later. That was 2008, 2010, it was dead. Then in 2011, I hear the exciting story about Konza. Mm -hmm. And I call these guys again and I tell them we have to be a part of that investment. And so immediately we realized we needed structure because we had the money, but we didn't know what to do with it. Ah. And here comes Centonomy. And they answered the why. Your full chama went to Centonomy? All of you went? We are just three couples. That's so six, six of you. And so you can imagine how exciting it was, Caroline, I when know, you were given notes. that assignment of 25,000 shillings, <laughs> make a million out of it. <laughs> so whereas so the rest cool. of the class was trying to get the people to match in with and form the group with, mm. for us it you was guys, automatic. It was already mm -hmm. there. And immediately after that, the first thing we did after the Centonomy 101 was to register our charm as a limited company. Six years down the line, we've been paying taxes. <laughs> wow. And many other things that yeah. God has enabled us to do. Yeah. And for that, we'll always be grateful mm -hmm. to Centonomy. Centonomy gave us structure, mm -hmm. and Centonomy has helped us fulfill our biggest desire and dream as the three couples as friends, because our desire as the Bible says, mm -hmm. is to leave an inheritance for our children's children. That's what the Bible says. Not your children. A mm -hmm. good man mm -hmm. leaves an inheritance mm -hmm. for his children's children. If you take nothing from this conversation, take that. Yeah. Men and money is to leave an inheritance for your children's children. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Yeah. Use 24 years in college. <laughs> You're cool and tall and all that. Why are you J going to St. JB. JB. <laughs> Why are you going to St. Oh, I went for St. Onomi Campus Edition. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, so I had this friend called Betty Kingori. Uh -huh. She used to talk about St. She used to talk about everything that I wanted. She traveled. So I thought at first I thought St. makes people travel. <laughs> <laughs> but actually I asked her what was happening. So she told me that St. helps you know where your money is going. So it will help you save till the day you want to travel. So okay. I wanted to get more of that. Mm -hmm. So, and that time I'd done t-shirts for Centonomy. We were not that Allah. big of a brand. Uh -huh. So I went to, okay, I think uh, there's a girl called Wendy. Mm -hmm. She knows that I was broke. Mm -hmm. I could not afford the classes at that time. Mm -hmm. So because of the good job I'd done, mm -hmm. they offered me a, uh, a partial scholarship. All right. 
So that was half of the price. So the other half I had to figure out how to get it. Okay. So I used my rent money. Yeah, as classes went. Juja, Juja life was cheap, so it's not that <laughs> much of a rent money. <laughs> okay. So they allowed me to pay my, my other balance uh -huh. within six weeks. Okay. Because I was really interested, I showed interest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I went for the classes, and every time I went for a class, I had th those aha moments. Like, there were wow. very many. Mm. Wow, yeah, there were yes. very, very many. Mm. So I need to debunk the myths of Sentonomy that, oh, th we teach people how to budget. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, that conversation is probably mm. 10 minutes. <laughs> no. The whole thing of where does your money go? That, I told you, those are the fundamentals. That's, that's the very yes. basics that everyone understands. Yes. Get it and then begin to think, what do you want in life? Exactly. That's what it is. Because we teach about life using yes. money. Thank you. What's your dream? You had JB here yeah. saying he wants to own a fashion house. Mm -hmm. Look at him now. He's I wearing know. a fashion. He's I wearing mean, his stuff. By the way, I've seen your stuff. I didn't know that was you. Home 254 right. is by a 26-year-old because he began to figure these no things pressure out early. To the people who are 26-year-old <laughs> owns a, a brand, yes. And, and it's about saying if this is important to you, not only that, he's an engineer yes. doing no. fashion. No, he just mentioned that. Because the the idea of his goal and the, the idea of what he wanted to achieve was revealed there. Because we ask you, what do you want to achieve? Yes. And then what we are you willing to do to, to get there? Yes. That's how success is found. It's not, it's not about you shouldn't be spending money on, if you want to eat KFC every day, <laughs> Centonomy will actually help you do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. help you yes. how to uh, get the money to, to get the money to do that. Correct. Nobody's going to tell you you shouldn't you shouldn't eat out or have sparkling water. No. If those are <laughs> things that matter to you, fine, fine. But let's figure out how you can sustain this. There's an imbalance in our dreams uh -huh. that we think that there's one thing will cancel out the other. That if I if I don't yes. do this, I'll not be able to achieve yes. this. Or that apparently that saving the, means that there's an end to life. Yes. No, it's that you're putting money aside with purpose yes. for what you want to do. So I have a great friend, there's a guy who's in the class and he said, I wanted to buy a new car. And he said, Tony, you guys keep talking about a car is not an asset. And we said, yes, it's not an asset, but there's nothing wrong in owning a car. Almost all of us own cars. Uh, yes, we do. Yes. And you can own a nice one. Yes. Why not? But make a plan for it. Yes. Many times the problem is I'll own that car, and but I have no other assets. Nothing. Nothing to show for it. And, and I'm I, in debt for and that I car. And I probably actually only drive it once, one day a week, and I'm still paying the bank. Yes. That's what we try to stop you from doing. And those guys mm -hmm. who want to own the car mm -hmm. are saying, I also want to guide my family and leave an inheritance. I also want to do all these other things. But this car is taking up everything from that dream. And what we do at Centonomy is say, how can you own that nice car and, and still leave an inheritance, still live a great retirement, still go on the holidays that JB is talking about, and we are doing it. But Peter, you said you speak to the young men where you work. I, I, is it that they believe that if I'm looking after my money, then I can't enjoy life? So let me enjoy life, and then we'll figure that other one out later. Or do they feel, I, I really don't know how to do the two, and I can't dream that big. I'm too scared to dream that big. I think the latter applies. Uh, there's the fear, I don't know what tomorrow holds. And since I have this job and I have this money, let me get myself the latest Subaru. Let me get myself <laughs> the latest gadget. Mm. But there's no elder man talking to them and telling them tomorrow is real. Can I just stop you there? I don't know whether you guys know this, but if there is something that women have a lot of, mm -hmm. is an older woman consistently telling you mm -hmm. to look after your money. Mm -hmm. And you're right, there isn't an elder man telling younger men, let me tell you how you do it. Exactly, Carol. Let me tell you how you do it, because mm -hmm. I can't begin to tell you how many women mm -hmm. will still pull me aside and say, okay, so are you doing this? Mm -hmm. And are you doing this? Are you doing this? Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize it's not happening for young men. They're not being, nobody's having that conversation with them one-on-one. -on -one. Exactly. And so, again, as I said earlier, the need for those of us who've walked that path and that journey to guide the younger men huh. and uh, just show them how tomorrow is real and how you can make it happen without struggling. All you need to do is plan and action. Mm -hmm. And Sentonomy helps you do that. Um, GB, YOLO is real for young guys. Chicks, yes. not really, but guys really believe that. Yes, they do. Is that fear yes, or is it do. just crazy? 
It's just, is, is that a thing of, okay, I, I really, I don't want even to look into tomorrow. It's like looking over there, like, ah, partner stuck. Yeah, we, we, we tell ourselves that we only live once, and uh, we try to get stuff that to impress the ladies, you know, and the ladies <laughs> are working for. Yeah, I know, for other things. Yeah. Um, and there's nothing wrong with impressing the ladies, but I do also know without a fact, with, without a doubt, that it is said mm -hmm. that if there were no women on the planet, mm -hmm. all the money in the world would be worth nothing, because at at <laughs> at your at, at your very core as yeah. men, yes. you're fine with a loincloth, a stick, and nyama on that same stick. Yeah, we are good. We are you're, good. You're good. Are good. <laughs> yes. And I came. You should see us uh, on the holiday uh, when you're out with just the boys. There's, yes. no, there's no issue. That there's no issue. So yeah. I know it is uh, Onesis, the um, yeah. the shipping magnate, who said that. He said literally, if there were no women yeah. on the planet, all the money in the world would be worth <laughs> nothing. Wow. Yeah, because, I mean, yes, a guy wants a nice car, but yeah. also wants a nice car because girls like yeah, nice, nice cars, cars. Yeah. yes. A guy will wear a Seiko, because the digital one, yeah, you know yeah. the one with, yeah, yeah. happily. Yeah. But then chicks like an Omega, so what do you do? <laughs> what, Pe <laughs> what Peter said was so brilliant. Uh -huh. We need older men to begin to talk about it. And, it, and yes. the thing is, it's part of our culture. If you think about it, Ooh. our history is when you when you used to become a man and you go for the, the rites of passage, you're circumcised or whatever, uh -huh. you would be taken out as a man yes. and you went to live with other men and you're shown how men live and okay. what they do. So it's part of our culture. So we need to revive some of that. All right. But I don't want to give guys an excuse. Not to come to yes. class. Why? I'm saying if the information is out there, and you have an opportunity, we're saying, man up. Go Come and get, get what you, you need. need. Yes. Because when you sit in that class, it begins to get you to think differently. That's awesome. And the opportunities are there for every single guy who's out there. So it's not, no, don't give yourself excuses and say, ah, uh, I missed my chance or there are no men to speak to me. Go out and be the first one and then go and tell your family. And then go and tell your friends. Yes. But Peter, I wanted mm. to know, um, because remember, you attended Syntonomy with your chama, three couples, six of you, but that meant your wife was there as well. But I'll bet you it didn't just work for the chama, it worked even at home. Exactly, and it brings the most critical thing, which is accountability. Mm -hmm. Because today, if you put the three of us together, mm -hmm. I don't know who will hold the other accountable. Mm -hmm. I ah. think uh, when you work as couples, there is just some magic that works mm -hmm. because I think uh, our wives uh, care more about the future mm -hmm. and want to see us ready uh, for that future. And so I agree with you fully, working as couples has really helped us. It's just more than a chama. Just the accountability that comes with knowing yeah, I'm doing this with my wife and uh, it's for the benefit of our children. But also you also think about money the same way. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you can, when you meet couples, or we're, we're saying this so that, you know, when you meet her, <laughs> you, you tell her, and by the way, madam, you know, it would be nice if we went to St. Yeah. Because we've got yeah. to speak the same money language. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, you, there's nothing as awkward as the, even I have friends who I know we don't speak the same money language mm -hmm. and I, I find myself not talking about it, even mm. when I have business ideas. Mm. There are people I will not discuss it with because mm. I know your idea of wealth creation mm. or how money is used or the access to it is not refined. Yeah. And as such, I, I, I struggle. <laughs> That's very interesting, <laughs> Carol, because uh, today, six years, seven years later, mm -hmm. my wife will challenge me when you're meeting as an investment company and she'll challenge my ideas. I'll say, I've seen a house somewhere going at three million and we need to buy it. And she'll ask why. Yes. And that question is not the same as it was 10 years ago. Because I know at the back of her mind, she's thinking about our own financial needs as much as we have the group financial yes. needs. Mm -hmm. And two, she wants to be convinced we can actually take care of both. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> wow. And so I've learned to take that challenge more mm -hmm. positively. So it has helped us, not just financially, but even in our relationships. Yes. yes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It, it can be tough if you're, you don't speak the same financial language. So there are two things. What? Number one, mm -hmm. guys, for some reason, I guess our culture says it, mm -hmm. we are expected to know. Yes. So that if you don't know, sometimes you feel like you're less of a man for some reason. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like you feel, 
the, you know, yeah, we're all in this room and we all don't know. Yes. And so we don't want JB to know or Peter to know. So we'll yeah. not talk. We'll talk like we know. We yeah. know. Because apparently we are supposed to know. How? How do you learn? How are you supposed oh to get goodness. there? So there's an insecurity that we're dealing with there. Okay. And then there's also, as he said, that accountability. If you have never been challenged, and in fact, so we don't want to be challenged. You've never been challenged. Kwanzaa even, around chums. Yes. No way. So even what you know being challenged is positive because one of my favorite writers is a guy called Aaron Sorkin, and he says, I hire people who are smarter clever people, me. smarter people yes. who have different ideas yes. than I do. Why? Because then we're able to test whether the idea is good or yes. not. But you know, when we're all together and we're just like, hey, you know, quail eggs, <laughs> let's buy all of us quail eggs, or let's all go to <laughs> Kitengela, you know the story that is there. <laughs> yeah. And guys do that because now I don't want to show that I don't know. But you know what? Get over yourself. Learn. And in fact, I've never seen anyone come out to these guys of our classes and say, oh, I, I didn't want anybody to know. In fact, because now you have been validated in the great things that you do. Yes. And you have also been empowered to do new things. Uh, that's where the, the brilliance comes up. I want to say this to the guys before we take a break. The good thing about Centonomy 101 is that, yes, the things you know will be, will be validated, but you will be able to separate yourself from the hype. Mm. You will not be the guy who bought a holiday home in Kilifi. There's nothing wrong with holiday homes in Kilifi because other guys are buying. Right. You will not be the guy who makes a decision because kuna semekana avocado ndio inatengeneza pesa. Because you know that's how we work yes. as a nation. You will not be the man who feels pressured to send everybody to the coast in December while Naivasha is beautiful as well. Centonomy cuts you above and separate from the crowd and uh majority is not always right is not always right so when we come back i will ask the gentlemen to tell me three things they took from syntonomy i'll go first okay men and money subscribe and come back <laughs>